All right, so we're both in a neutral clinch. Neither one of us has an advantage. There's a bunch of different ways to do a hip throw. So I just need to be able to slide my hips through. So I'm gonna grab his waistband. That way it's hard for him to pull, pull away. Notice how I put all of my weight, I've laid all my weight here on this arm because I don't want to stand up like this to set up a hip throw or he'll throw me. All he's gotta do is pull with that arm and he'll throw me. So I'm leaning all my weight on that leg. I'm gonna step through and throw from there. And I've gotta get that leg all the way through. That's one way to set up a hip throw. Second way, I've got to bring this leg up because I'm gonna use more of a leg trip. But notice how I've got this waistband. So I'm gonna step back. When that leg steps up, I'm gonna to step to the outside of it and throw him over that leg. This last one, I'm not gonna do it full force because it's gonna be rough on him. It's kinda of like the Japanese wizard. Same thing applies. I want him to step up and when he does, I'm gonna drop down with all my body weight and pull him over that but pretty rough on your opponent. But to execute that correctly, I'm gonna to have to throw everything I have into it all in one motion. There, I kind of did it mechanically so that it wouldn't be too rough on him.